Hello, and today we're going to be testing the Tracker Light satellite meter by Orbital Tracker on uh, the Galaxy 19, which is located at 97 West. A very popular FTA satellite. As you can see here, we're using a pretty standard 30 inch dish. It's a little, probably a little bigger than 30 inches. Uh, we're using a universal uh, LMB, uh, and we're basically going to locate and uh, lock on to the 97 West signal using the tracker light satellite meter. So let's go ahead and begin. You want to connect the LNB uh, port to the uh, right side or the right F connector on the satellite meter. The left port is for a satellite receiver. If you needed to uh, power the actual satellite meter with the satellite receiver, all you would have to do is just plug it into the left uh, port there if you're running out of battery, etc. So let's go ahead and begin our search. We've already peaked the dish, and we want to show you a screenshot of exactly what it uh, looks like when you're on it. And we're actually going to take it off peak, and uh, we're going to actually find it again so you can see how the unit actually reacts. You're going to actually see two things. Obviously, uh, we've already preloaded the data. There are some files that are on the global uh, master list that comes built into the unit, but we've created our own files and uh, a lot of the frequencies are available off of uh, Linksat. Uh, Orbital Tracker's got them on their site and so does, uh, I think it's SatPro's got them on there as well. So let's look at the file of information here. It gives us our compass heading, our elevation, and our LMB skew. We've already pretty much got that uh, squared away. Uh, the location is 97.0 west. Frequency is 12177. The symbol rate is 23,000. The LO is uh, 10 600. It's because we're using a uh, universal LMB. If you're using a standard, the LO would be 10 750. Uh, the LMB voltage is 13 and the 22 kilohertz is on. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press uh, a number on the keypad and that'll take me into the search mode. You can see there at the screen on the right, the big screen is actually uh, doesn't have any data it's because we're not in search mode yet. When you do receive the unit, you are going to have to put your Latin along uh, for your city. It doesn't have to be exact, but uh, your city is fine. And that will actually calculate your uh, compass direction, your elevation, etc. So when you are aiming, you can actually reference the, the top screen. Or you can go to dishpointer.com for that information. So let's go ahead and begin our, our search here. I'm going to hit the keypad. You can see there that we have a solid uh, signal bar, uh, a pretty good quality bar, quality bar is at uh, about 40 50 percent high 50s actually and we have a locked indicator uh, what you want to do is obviously we're on the satellite what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually take the dish off skew so you can kind of get a reference an idea of how the unit's going to react so in most cases there we are picking up some signal you can hear the tone of the meter it's basically it's very staggered there's a good gap in between the beeps and it's a lower volume so as we get closer to the unit, or closer to the signal, you'll actually see the quality bar uh, jump up. That basically tells us we're on the satellite, and you'll hear the audible tone increase in pitch and in uh, repetition. So just go ahead and pay attention for that. I'm going to move the dish slowly until we get a quality reading and we get a locked indicator. You see there we got a locked indicator on the upper right hand side. Uh, most FTA satellites you will be able to get that. In cases you don't, just pay attention to the quality bar. You can see here I'm fine tuning the dish now. And I'm barely turning the dish. I'm using increments of maybe a quarter inch. You can see how sensitive this unit is with that, that new fast track chip technology that they developed. So you see here I'm going to try to peek it out as best I can. Get the quality as high as I can get it. See that? Take it off and back on it. And you can see there that uh, we got a decent uh, quality reading. It's at about 60%. You could probably get a little higher. Uh, we've noticed here in Florida, uh, quality bars tend to be a little lower than most cases, but depending on part of the world you're at, your quality bar will fluctuate. But the important things here are you're getting a, sol uh, a pretty good uh, signal reading. Quality reading is over 50%, which is what you want. 
uh, and you got a locked indicator, which is basically telling you on the side. At this point, it's just a matter of fine-tuning the dish and the LMB to uh, increase the quality bar, and you're pretty much done with the with the, with the installation. You pretty much tighten the bolts on the back of the dish and go enjoy your your TV programming. So overall, uh, we've tested the tracker light on a lot of the uh, Frida Air uh, satellites, a lot of the international satellites, and it's passed with flying colors. It's a very well-made unit. It's got comes with a protective case, comes with a uh, car charger, uh, home charger, a very loud uh, a speaker, and it comes with a USB cable to download different satellite parameters, etc. Or you could just enter the satellite parameters manually. We've noticed that it's actually a little easier to load them in manually than it is to actually plug it into a computer and do that whole thing. But to kind of give you an idea of what the unit is built like, just a solid uh, construction there. I'm going to take it out of search mode. I'll go ahead and take it apart. I'm going to turn that off. Battery tends to last pretty pretty long, at least, at least four or five installations. See, it comes with a very nice, soft, protective case. Absorb the shock if you drop it. You can see here it comes with a battery that's replaceable. You can see that there. You can plug it in and out. Order replacements, have some spares that are already charged. Uh, overall, the uh, tracker light satellite meter is a, it's a great meter. Uh, for the price, I think you can't really beat it. Um, they're available through uh, satpro.tv. And uh, great meter. Highly recommend it.